welcome. Using a series of real-world examples, I'm going to show you how to rapidly generate great-looking titles, graphic elements, and effects directly inside your Avid timeline using Titler Pro from New Blue FX. In these tutorials, we'll be focusing on using Titler Pro version 1 with Avid Media Composer version 6. Here I've got a sequence that needs some lower thirds. And as is my preference, I'm defining an area on the video track above my desired background. Here, I'm going to add the Titler Pro effect. Enter effects mode. And launch the Titler Pro interface. One outstanding feature of Titler Pro when compared to other titling applications is that you can scrub through your clip to see the range of motion that you might be dealing with. So the first paragraph where we currently have our default text object, we need to change this uh, text here from enter text to the interview name Larry Santoyo. So I'm going to type that name in now and then use the add paragraph button down here to create a second text object permaculture designer. Now, I'm going to take these two independent objects or paragraphs, and I'm just going to leave them, push them up here, and leave them out of the way for the moment, because the next element that I'd like to create for my lower third is a box. So I'm going to create a shape using the menu here next to add paragraph. Uh, a box will do. And with the box selected, I can use the Style tab to change the color and opacity. So as you can see here, I can create a basic color. Or the next option is Create a Gradient, which in turn can either be a color-to-color -color gradient, like so, or uh, if you want, it can be color-to-alpha, um, in other words, through to transparency. You also have the ability to use a texture map. So for example, here I could uh, choose that, double click in the box here. That's going to open up the file selection dialog and choose flare or marble or something like that. Uh, as you can see, the texture can be applied directly or I can choose it as an environment map like so. Plenty of possibilities here for using your textures. In this case, though, I'm going to switch back to a gradient between white and transparent. I'm also going to come up to this uh, upper portion here, and I'm going to choose to add a 2D bright green outline. And then I'm going to come here to the controls for that outline, and I'm going to blur the outline slightly. Now, returning to our text, the first thing I want to do is alter the style for the name Larry Santoyo. So I'm going to change the font here and select Tahoma. And I'm going to change the color to black. And I'm going to reposition Larry over the white bar here. But as I move Larry down, you can see um, that actually he's underneath the layer that we created most recently, which was the box. So uh, we can very easily select and reorder the layers by dragging the layers up or down in the timeline stack, like so. Now that we've got Larry positioned back under the Attributes tab on the Styles sub-tab, uh, we've got these two buttons that you just saw me use to add an outline. So I can add a 2D shadow outline or a face, or I can add a 3D outline or face. So in this case, I'm going to choose to add a 2D drop shadow. And I'm just going to make a few adjustments here until I'm happy with how that looks. And there we go. So let's say that we're now happy with the style that we've just created for Larry Santoyo, the name of our interviewee. And we want to use it again for the occupation, permaculture designer. What we want to do here is to save the style preset. So up here from the menu, style preset, and we'll save this as PLT. Now, highlight the paragraph that you want to apply it to, in this case, the Permaculture Designer, and then go dig it out of the library under Style, My Styles, and there it is, PLT. Double click to apply. So that's great. I've got exactly the same style for all of my text there. But let's say that I now decide, well, I need to distinguish the interviewee's name just a little from the occupation. So here I could reselect Larry 
And again, under the Attributes tab and on the Styles sub tab, we'll return to the two buttons that we used earlier. Add a 2D shadow outline or a face, or add a 3D outline or a face. This time I will choose Add 2D Face. Change the color of this new face to green and bring it forward because each successive face that's added is actually behind the current face in Z space. So we need to bring it forward to see it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the thickness so that it doesn't obscure the original black typeface altogether. Already we've created a nice looking lower third, but if we wanted to add just a little more polish, a little bit more production value, well, a very simple way is to use transitions. So select the layer that you want to affect, in this case, the shape layer. Then we can go to the library tab, transitions. In animations, I'm gonna choose fade in and then double click to apply the one that you want. In this case, I think that smooth is good. Next, to transition in the interviewee name, Larry Santoyo, I'm going to go to Transitions. I'm going to go to Animations, and then to Fly In. And I'm just going to have a look through this category here. And I'm, I like, I think I like either Fountain or Spray. We're going to double click to apply that. And then transition in Permaculture Designer. So select Permaculture Designer, back to the library. Uh, to Transitions, Animations, and this time let's use Type On. So, as we saw earlier, Titler Pro has the ability to preview everything you're creating in real time. So just hit play and Titler Pro will temporarily hide the background video layer and play the title and any effects in real time so you can accurately judge the speed and tempo of moves, effects and transitions. Okay. So the real-time preview shows that since everything is now transitioning on at the same time, it's hard to know where to look or what to read first. So to help our audience out, we can retime the arrival and departure of each element right here within Titler Pro by trimming and repositioning elements in time. I will time the interviewee name, Larry Santoyo, to begin flying in just at the tail end of the fade up on the bar. Then I will time Permaculture Designer to begin typing on just after Larry Santoyo has landed. And finally, I want to add a fade out to each layer. So again, from the Library tab, we'll choose Transitions, through to Animations, and then Fade In. And then we're just going to do that for each layer and move the fade in from the beginning to the end of the clip there. So now to return to Media Composer, just close the title of Pro interface and we find ourselves back in Media Composer in effects mode. If you do have other interviewees to ID, you can now drag that effect from the effects editor window and drop it into a bin for reuse or reversioning. For example, Further down the timeline here, I have another interviewee. So we can mark up the area of the track above him. But in this case, notice we have less time available to ID our subject. At the beginning of the piece, we used just over seven seconds for Larry's lower third. But here we only have about five seconds. With Titler Pro, that's not gonna matter, since when we drag that pre-made lower third from the bin to this section of the timeline, the timing of all the events will now match the new duration. And all we need to do, of course, is just drop into effects mode, then into Titler Pro, change the name from Larry Santoyo to Jeff Lawton. And that just shows why it's so nice to be able to develop not only the content and the style of your title, but also the transitions and the timings all within the same effect clip because it really becomes a breeze to re-edit or reuse those titles over and over again. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to create a 3D main title and a custom transitional element to go along with it. <laughs>